you know, I started this review and we got about halfway through one and I just couldn't do any more. You can see what I came up with, but <coughs> Troll 1, uh, well, let me put it this way, it inspired Troll 2. Let's go. So you might have noticed that I've kind of sped things up a little bit in the introduction. Try to save you time, this, this review. You know, there's the title. I don't think it's fast enough, let's get a little faster. One of the things that's actually kind of good about it is, like, the underlying music. Uh, it gets a little goofy when the trolls start singing, you'll see that a little later. And, uh, here's our exposition. Fairy tale. Only, of course, it's not a fairy tale. Okay, a couple things. Did you notice Sonny Bono and, uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, I think that's her name, were in the, in the credits? Yeah, they're in this movie, and I don't know why, but, uh, their parts are very amusing to me, in retrospect. So, um, yeah, this movie, right from the get-go, it can't decide whether it's a children's movie or an adult movie, because it's too scary for kids. Take a look at this guy. Yeah. Wendy? Wendy? Uh. He is creepy as hell. And uh, he has that stereotypical monster voice. I don't know who the voice actor is, but I've heard him in everything. Have you? Does anybody else pay attention to voice acting? I don't know. But anyways, the troll decides to pretend to be a little girl. This family has just moved into the apartment building. And on the first day, the girl's been turned... Well, the... The girl's been replaced, I should say, by a troll. It's not very good luck. And her brother's name is Harry Potter. I kid you not. Harry Potter. Harry Potter's parents aren't very, uh, hip. We'll get to that more later. So the fire alarm is an excuse to show our colorful cast off. And, uh, you begin to think again, maybe this is a children's movie after all. After all, it's a, it's a colorful cast of characters, so, yeah, it must be. And that's Son Sonny Bono, yeah. Being colorful. And colorfully swearing as well, around children. But anyways, let's speed this up. Okay, the daughter is acting like a troll, because she is a troll. Only the troll is way too playful for a troll acting like a girl, I think. I don't know. It, the metaphysics of it all is just beyond me. And we established Sonny Bono as a jerk. This is the crazy war veteran guy that likes to hunt in all things Republican and exercise. Because apparently being athletic is Republican too. I don't know. Moving on. Anytime now. Really, aren't these people a little late? I mean, there's a fire alarm. These are the yuppies, and you might remember uh, one of them uh, played Elaine on Seinfeld years later. And she never spoke of this role again, I'm pretty certain. And uh, last but not least, we have the crazy lady that lives upstairs and is a bitch to everyone. But could she hold some secret? Alright, I'll kind of let this scene speak for itself. It's only a little bit fast-forwarded, because I'm starting to realize how funny this fast-forwarding thing is. I think I'll keep it for the rest of the review. Well, babe, was it what you expected? Unfortunately. What? Uh, he was beyond what I expected. <laughs> Feel like breakfast? Sure. There's some pancake mess in the kitchen. Why don't you cook us up some? What don't you? I'm jumping on the So later, Sonny Bono gets his comeuppance for being a jerk in the 80s. This happens to every jerk in every 80s movie. Well, it's still happening. Hollywood hasn't really gotten over that cliche of making people jerks so that they can do bad things to them. We'll return to regular speed in just a moment so you can see the gory transformation scene. Enough is enough! Gotcha! 
Are you in for it now, Sonny Bono? There's some green touchiness. What's going on? This is getting really odd really fast. Uh, So it's slowly but surely going down this slope where it's it's going from a kids movie to nightmares for your entire childhood in one scene. Let's continue. That was gross. Turned into a caterpillar? What's going on here? A cucumber? Is he a cucumber? Why is he a cucumber? Why is Sonny Bono a cucumber? Why is the guy that was on the Sonny and Cher show a cucumber? And is he technically naked now? Because I don't like the thought of technically looking at a naked Sonny Bono as he's a cucumber. And now he's spread. I guess he was a pod? This magic makes so much sense. Sped up out of consideration for your five minutes, which many people have told me they want back. But we've already gone past the five minute mark. So Sonny Bono turned into a bunch of baby trolls. It makes sense, damn it. Not bad. Meanwhile, the boys befriended the old lady, despite the fact that she's mean. And uh, she has a phallic symbol hidden in her house. I would hide a talking phallic symbol if I had one in my house too. Or I would charge money to see it, either way. Moving on. In a weird metafiction-y way, the troll's actor shows up as another character. A guy that just happens to be the same height as the troll. And she, being the troll, she thinks that he is an elf, of course because apparently they didn't, didn't have little people back in the old days that the troll were of, apparently. Yes, Brother Elf. Now it's time for the father to rock out. To switch gears, we are going to kill the guy that's obviously uh, a Republican in e every evil conceivable way. I really hate how this thing smiles. It looks like a grandmother. Not mine. Yours. Because your grandma's ugly. Sorry I went there. So anyways, the guy that is not actually the troll, as opposed to the little girl that is, comes to dinner. And he happens to be a storyteller. In mighty arms and silver shield, where in old dints and deep wounds did remain, the cruel... Oh lord, we better speed this up. Yeah, music is starting to play while he tells his story. And the trolls are singing along. Uh, that's horrible. Ah, and the phallic symbol is singing along too. What the hell is this? Is it done? You can review the movie yourself, internet. I'm out of here.